Kaiden, great job today. Here's what we recovered on the piano. What we covered besides just hanging out and having fun playing here is that C major and C minor are completely different. When we move our hands up in this fashion, we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. When we know that G major has one sharp, C, D, E, F, G. So when we're playing in G major, we have to have F sharp, meaning every chord that's inside of G major, G major, A minor, as soon as it has an actual F note, I have to make that an F sharp. G, A, B, uh, G, G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major. Notice how D major also has that F sharp. If I were to play an F natural, that would be G major, A minor, B diminished, C major, D minor, which isn't exactly the same thing that we hear in a major scale. So. I just wanted you to be aware that when we move our hands up and down the fretboard, we basically have a one, two, three under with our finger, and then we have enough fingers to play the rest. When we're playing our stuff together, I notice that you're a little frustrated at the chords not sounding good or coming together. And what I'd like to say to you is none of this really sounds great in the beginning. You're doing a great job to keep with it. The idea is if you can hear this as being a, a C, this is being an E, and this is being a G. Then if we were to say C major and add a sixth, if you're able to hear that, one, two, three, four. What I'd like to do next week is try to work on a little bit of vocals and have fun with our, uh, our lungs and our, our vocal cords. <laughs> and see how we could sing from really low up to up. And if we can do that, that'd be lots of fun. Other than that, we're going to jump back on the ukulele and do some rhythm exercises and do some sight reading counting. And if you don't want to do that, we well, can just jam out on that guitar again. Other than that, it was really cool seeing you. I know this is a short video. However, we did a lot of work today, and I want that to kind of sink in. I will see you next week, and we're going to get back on sight reading with our ukulele. And guess what? I think I have an ukulele book for you. All right. I'll see you next week.